Spoilers for episode 125 of Dragon Ball Super have recently leaked online, and the title of the new episode is God of Destruction Topo Pure Overwhelming Power. I mean, how many of us actually thought there was something special about the Pride Troopers leader Topo? But this, to be fair, explains why of all people he was at the Universal Exhibition match, but it definitely seems as though it could be that he's going to take over from Universe 11's Belmod. Now, we don't have much information on this, so we don't know for sure that he's actually going to take over from Belmod, Perhaps he'll be promised his own universe to govern the destruction of after the tournament. But assuming that he could be taking over from Belmod, because it has been heavily suggested that Whis is constantly looking for Beerus' replacement should come the time where Beerus kicks the bucket. It's good to have the next in line ready for when the time comes, of course. And the person would need to be deemed suitable for the job, which would clearly be appointed and approved by either Universe 11's Angel or the Grand Priest himself. And who more suitable than the leader of the Pride Troopers? Clearly, Toppo is not afraid to get his hands dirty and is happy to leave the Pride Troopers in the capable hands of Jiren. He is certainly armed and dangerous, excuse me for the terrible pun, and fit for the job of Destroyer God. Just like in Universe 10, we witness Gawasu preparing Zamasu for his job when he takes over, which could have taken hundreds of years, so we know these jobs require training. Toppo, bearing witness to the competition during the Universal Survival Exhibition match, may have actually been less interested in the actual scoping out of the other universe's talent and more on the sitting in on Belmod's replacement, so obviously that he happened to kind of see how his job works and that kind of stuff before taking over. Since the beginnings of the arc, we've heard rumblings that there would be a fighter in a universe that had their power succeeded, that of the Destroyer God. And of course we can all assume safely that it's Jiren that is stronger than Belmod that they're talking about. Now, Universe 11's angel, the attendant, Marcarita, her job as the Hokaishin's attendant is to make sure that they're doing their job and carrying out necessary actions. If Belmod is so significantly weaker than Jiren, perhaps this deems him unfit to do his job. Topo supposedly revealing the pure overwhelming power in this episode, could it actually be that Topo has more latent power than Jiren? Is he the dark horse of Universe 11? I kind of doubt it. It could simply be in technique terms. If he's been trained for the role of Hakaishin, then logically, he may have actually been taught the Hakai technique, which we saw Beerus use on Zamasu, and in the manga, of course, we saw Goku use it on Merge Zamasu, which... Yeah, I know. Hmm. Now, this is also speculation, and I'm not a big know-it-all when it comes to DC or this subject, but it is certainly evident that Belmont and Margarita are somewhat based on the Joker and Harley Quinn, and their coloured history of breakups and fights are rife with betrayal and replacement. Could it be that Margarita plans to betray Belmont with this? It's just an idea, but it's one to think about. Anyway, I suppose we'll find out in a couple weeks' time. Thanks for watching this video on Kanji's Kingdom, of course, I'm your host, World King Kanji. I really hope to see you again next time, so don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you later. Bye!